Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kex Next, and I can't believe I'm at 2,000 subscribers. That is incredible. Thank you guys so much. Um, it's really, really a special milestone for me. I never thought my channel would get this big, but now that it is, I thought I'd give you a cute little um, tutorial on how to do confetti in Blender. If you look here, you see you have confetti falling in the air uh, at different angles, and it's actually really, really, really simple. It's a simple particle system, I just thought. A uh, little quick tutorial um, for, two, for uh, 2,000 subscribers, so really special. Really, really, really special. It means a lot to me. Thank you all so much. But let's go ahead and get started with this quick tutorial. So first thing we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna shut off my confetti uh, objects here. So actually, I'm gonna turn off this one. Uh, and first thing we're gonna do is model a little slice of confetti. Um, here's my little dancing guy here, <laughs> I like him. Uh, but anyway, so confetti, we're gonna hit Shift A, go to a new cube, add it in there. Um, we can move it up a little bit uh, and maybe move it out to the side over here because that's where it's gonna be. We're gonna click on it, let's turn overlays on, uh, and then we can hit period to kind of focus on it. All right, let's tab in edit mode, um, hit one to go to ver vertice, vertex selection. Um, and then we're just gonna take these vertices down here and we're just gonna, let's go to, press one to go in front of you. We're just gonna drag them down to the bottom. And actually I have proportional editing on, so let's turn that off and then drag them down here. So we have this kind of a sharp shape. All right, now we're gonna hit two to go to edge selection, shift select, uh, shift select to this edge down here, and then you hit control B to bevel it a little bit, like that. And I don't like how this is at a right angle. I feel like paper lays a little bit flatter. So what we're gonna do um, is take this edge, turn on proportional editing, drag it down, scroll up a little bit so we get more faces being affected. Just something like that is okay. Maybe hit shift Y so it doesn't move along that axis. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and then also we can kind of bevel these in. So we can select them both, control B, and you know, bevel just a little bit. All right, there's our little slice of confetti. We can also hit A to select everything and hit S. Uh, actually turn off proportional editing. S and then Y to scale along the Y axis. Make it real thin, S, Z, maybe a little bit flatter. S, X. Um, let's see one more time. <laughs> I essentially just kind of made it smaller on all three axes, axes. that was kind of uh, um, redundant. But okay, so here's our little piece of confetti now. We're gonna tab out of uh, edit mode, we'll right click, hit shade smooth, um, then go to the uh, object data, normals, and turn on auto smooth. Um, and then we can right click, set origin, origin to geometry, uh, and we can rename it confetti. And also you wanna hit M, move it to a new collection, or I'm gonna move it to my confetti collection here. All right, now we can create a new object, so hit Shift A, create a new cube, and we will move it up above our scene up here, like that, and we're just gonna hit S, Shift Z, to scale it up like this. So we have a little bit of a, of a area above where our guy is. Um, and we're gonna go to the particle, setting, uh, particle system settings, add in a new one, we'll call it uh, confetti. Um, and we're going to make sure that the length, so the end of our of our comp is 385. And we're also going to make sure that the lifetime of our particles are the full length. All right. Um, we can also turn the number up to 10,000. Cool. Now if we hit play, <laughs> I have some, some audio going on here. Let me uh, turn that off real quick. Okay, so now we have lots of particles falling down. Um, but they are a little bit um, um, symmetrical or, or orderly, and you really want to introduce as much randomness as you possibly can into these particles. So what we're gonna do, um, let's see, make sure, oh, by the way, also make sure that your ground has a, um, has a collision physics on it, and you can turn the, the damping up to one to make sure the confetti doesn't bounce because it's paper. We turn the randomness up a little bit. Also turn the friction all the way up so they don't slide and you can introduce some random, randomness there too. Always introduce randomness when you're dealing with um, small particles. All right, so now we have this little um, particle emitter, the particle tab. Um, let's see, uh, make sure, let's still go to the velocity and turn the normal maybe up to like 1.2 and then turn the, turn randomness up a bit. 
So let's see what that's doing. Maybe randomize up a little bit more, 1.5. Yeah, all right, that's pretty cool. We also wanna turn on rotation. Um, and we'll mess around with this in just a second. Let's go to render, change render as to object. Also turn off show emitter and that in the viewport display settings. Um, and make sure you can go ahead and click, click in this box and then click our uh, confetti object. So now we should have all these pieces of confetti. We can actually scale it up a little bit. Maybe to about that, so maybe a little bit less than that. Point seven is a good size. Maybe, and definitely turn up the scale randomness. We want as much randomness as possible. Perfect. All right, now we can go to the rotation, turn up randomize, maybe even to one. Uh, turn the phase up and the phase uh, randomize phase up. Everything you definitely want to randomize. And maybe turn the amount up a little bit as well. Angular velocity. All right, let's see what that's looking like. Cool, cool. Um, another thing that we can do is maybe decrease the uh, gravity. So go down to the field weight settings, turn the gravity down, maybe 0.6. Let's try that because they're very light and they're not going to interact with air. They're going to fall as fast as if it was a heavier object. So let's try that. Maybe a little bit less. Definitely just a lot of uh, trial and error here. All right, but now we want to colorize it. So we're going to click on our uh, confetti object over here, give it a new material, delete the principal BSDF. And I like to have very vibrant colors. So I'm going to give it an emission shader, um, connect it to the surface. Maybe turn the uh, value up to three. Then I'm going to hit shift A, add in an object info node and a color ramp. And we're going to use a technique that we used in our uh, m and simulation tutorial, so I'll put a link to uh, a link to that in the description. Um, but just go ahead and connect the random to the factor and the color to the color. And then go ahead and change this color ramp to constant and add in maybe, eh, let's say six flags or something like that. And we can go ahead and hit this little arrow and hit distribute stops from left. All right, now we just go ahead and make a bunch of really vibrant colors. Like let's do orange, we can do red, we can do yellow, we can do green, and some blue, and maybe some pink. Maybe I, I want a little bit more blue and pink. A little bit less yellow and more green. Yeah, so there you go. That's how you make <laughs> some vibrant uh, light up confetti. Um, if we play that, we'll go back to the beginning. We'll play it a little bit. Looking pretty good. I also put a collision object on all of these objects here, like my little guy in his shirt and his hat and his pants. So they interact with him as well. All right, confetti's definitely falling. And then we can uh, just go to our uh, confetti object, go down to the cache, and hit bake all dynamics. And look at that. We got some confetti interacting with the ground and interacting with our guy falling in a random way. I love it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny uh, quick tip tutorial type thing, kind of beginner-esque, but I really, really appreciate your support and I'll, and I'll uh, make sure to make much more content in the future. Thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, I'm Kex Next, and I will see you in the next video. I have to be me twin.